cables are completely done. This is the final iteration of this project. I love them so much and I have a lot of people to thank for making this look like it looks today. First of all, of course, Carlos Montoro, the luthier who actually built this custom cyber base together with me. We had so much fun when we designed the whole base made for being played by marbles. And yeah, huge cred to Carlos Montoro. Then we have Richard from UK who has been project managing the cyber wheels, the rubber wheels here. So I put up a project charter on the project management Google Sheet where I just sketched how I thought the dimension could look like. And then Richard just said, don't worry about it, I'll get it done. Uh, a month later, these ended up in my mailbox. So Richard just took care of everything and Richard designed them in CAD. And Richard found a new team member for the MMX engineering team in Ace Crystal. Hi, I'm Walter Hasselberg from the Netherlands. I'm an all-round creative engineer who enjoys problem solving and bringing ideas into reality. I'm following my own dream to start my own workshop, Acecraft, where I plan to solve many problems, create beautiful designs and materialize other people's dreams. I'm honored to be a small part in realizing Martin's dream. If you're interested in my journey, or maybe I can help with prototyping or just 3D printing, you can follow or contact me on YouTube, Twitter and my website acecraft.eu. Ace manufactured these rubber wheels and this delivery, when I opened this box, it, I have to say, was one of the coolest packages I've ever seen in my whole life. So, Ace and Richard, in my book, you're both Ace. <laughs> Ace Crystal has made a YouTube video showing in depth how he made these rubber wheels. So be sure to go check out Ace Crystal's video, link in the description. If you remember when I became the project manager, I wanted to learn how to delegate efficiently. And this was like the kind of dream thing when I sat down and thought, I made a project charter, I asked Richard, Richard just dealt with it, and then I had the rubber wheels. So the end result not only looks effortless, on my side it was kind of effortless. So huge thanks to all of you aces out there. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Marble Machine X building series and thanks to the patrons and the YouTube members for funding this whole crazy endeavor. And yeah, so now we can play the high notes. We can slide the couples off, no problem. And the rubber wheels are not disintegrating over time like the Delrin blocks could have done. So all three issues solved and Talk about a design that has been minimized to its bare essentials. It just does what it needs to do. The spring steel arms gives the flex we need and still holds the rubber wheels in place. Yeah, this was a pure delight and hope you enjoyed it as well. See you on the next Mintgarten Wednesdays. Shh.